Welcome to episode 5 of Shooting Cars. In this video I'm going to teach you how to do an awesome clone effect using that S550 uh, right there. So this car is on Boston wheels shooting at this awesome spot that my friend IMA found. It's right there. Uh, and so all you're going to need is a tripod and a camera, shoot in manual mode, and about 10 minutes in Photoshop. So this whole thing with watching the video should take less than half an hour to pull off. So first thing, we are going to put the camera on a tripod. That's done. Then we are going to take the first picture and then put the car on the other side, take a third picture. And you'll see that a little bit more right here. So let's take the first shot. One thing that you could do that's super helpful for this is use live view on your camera to manually focus. Then put it to manual focus so it doesn't change when you move the car. And then you're set. So there's our shot. We're gonna turn off live view, take it. And that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna put a marker in front of the car so that I know where to place it so that they line up properly. So we're gonna leave the tripod, move the car. I'm gonna pull the car back in, facing the other way, and then we're gonna take the bag out and put it together in Photoshop. And you wanna make sure that the car is lined up as evenly as possible. You gotta imagine that it was there with the other car. So we're gonna pull it forward, pull right a little bit. We want it lined up so it's in the middle. Yep, perfect. A little bit this way. And stop. Cool. Now let's remove this bag. Go back to the camera. And shoot the second frame. So all we have to do now... We don't have to focus or anything, but there's the car. Now we'll be able to add these together. So as you can see, we shot the car facing that way, took a photo, then we flipped the car around, took another photo, and now we're going to go into Photoshop and put them together. Super easy. Oh, quick tip. If you want to make it super easy on yourself, move the car out and get a photo of the blank canvas because sometimes you'll need a little bit of the background to right, Guys, so we are now in Lightroom and I'm going to show you how to put together a clone shot of a car. Now, since I took this photo at an angle uh, in that video clip that you saw, this image is actually a little bit harder to put together. So to make it easy for this tutorial, I redid the same effect. I shot it the same way, just had the camera straight on instead of at an angle. And I shot this beautiful E93 M3 on bags and BBS wheels and did the same exact shooting technique, just straight on, which is gonna be easier to demonstrate. Now to show you what went wrong in this file, you can see when I try to put them together that since I uh, didn't have enough space on the right side of the car, the cars look like they crashed into each other. So this one's gonna take a little bit more editing I'm gonna to have to do a little bit more uh, finagling with the background and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna show you the editing process on this E93 M3 photo. So uh, basically what you're gonna do is once you have two similar exposures in Lightroom, you're gonna do whatever edits you want to the ground and to color and whatnot, and you want to copy the edits from your first image to the second image that you're gonna choose. So to do that, you right click on it, develop settings, copy settings, check all, copy, and then you're going to hit develop settings by right clicking on the second image and press paste settings, okay? So once you have that done, we are going to uh, click on one of the images that we're gonna use, and then the second image and right click, press edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. This is basically gonna open the two images together in one Photoshop project, and I'm gonna show you what layers and layer masks are right now to teach you how to do this effect. While we wait for that to load, I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on last week's episode. People from all over the world, the UK, Norway, South Africa, Chicago, Hong Kong, various cities in Texas, Brazil, Oregon, Oklahoma, Missouri, Iceland, Maryland, and Australia. You guys commented, sent me DMs, uh, and no pun intended, it means the world to me. It is awesome, and it's what motivates me to keep making these videos. So thank you for your comments. Uh, it's cra crazy to see that you guys are watching from such far away places, but I'm glad that you're learning. So. Uh, we have the files loaded now, and we have two layers, as I mentioned. Whoops. So we have uh, this top layer. So we have file uh, 9251 and then 9256, and we're going to rename them in a second. But if we look at the top and turn this layer off, we can see that the bottom layer is the car on the right side. So we're going to double click and type in right. And then on the uh, top layer, we're going to turn it on. See that's on the left. So double click, call it left. 
So basically what we're gonna do is create a hole, cut out a hole in this left image, right about here, let me show you, uh, let me create a new layer. We're gonna cut a hole right about here using layer masks so that this car from this layer shows up in the top, okay? So uh, to better demonstrate this, I'm going to fill up this entire layer with yellow and show you what a layer mask will do. Okay, so we have a, a yellow layer. This is just for example, you guys do not need to make this layer, but basically if I press layer mask on the top layer, the left layer, and then I use a black brush by hitting B and then D for default colors and then X for black, and I paint black here, you'll see that the yellow shows up from the layer beneath it. Or if I put black here, the yellow shows up from the layer beneath. So basically imagine this is like burning a hole in the uh, print if you had like a physical picture of the car on the left side and then below it the car on the right side right so you're basically burning a hole there but the cool thing is if you paint the other color you magically unburn that hole or unerase it or whatever you want to think of this as uh, so layer masks is like erasing but then having a magic undo eraser which is awesome so i'm going to delete this layer i'm going to show you what we're going to do basically we have the layer mask here again we're going to hit brush brush black color and so as I do this, I'm just gonna brush the M3 in on the right side, make sure we got the whole shadow, and we're done. That's it, that's it. It took longer to explain, I'm sorry, uh, than to actually show you how to do this. So basically, you have the car on the right side, then you have the car on the left side, you make a layer mask on the top layer, and you're done. And then once you have the image put together, you can go ahead and go in, and use the cleanup uh, tool that I told you about in last week's episode, the patch tool. And then you can you know, do your fine adjustments like clean up reflections and clean the ground and change colors and do whatever else you want in Photoshop or click save and do it in Lightroom. So that's how you do it. Basically you have the image on the left, the image on the right, open them uh, in Lightroom. So make sure they have the same edits, the exposure is the same because if we did this with you know, the card this bright on this side and then, you know, this dark on the right, that just would not make sense. It would look super fake. So you gotta make sure the exposure is the same. That's why it's important to shoot in manual uh, and don't change anything. So for your first image, focus on the car on the left side and, uh, you know, focus on it, polarize it, put your camera on manual focus, put it in manual exposure, take the picture, move the car to the right, take the picture and edit them together in Photoshop. That's it for this week's episode. Next week, I'm gonna to try to cover rolling shots. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. If you have questions, send me an Instagram DM at a car photographer, and I'll see you next week, Thursday at 9 a.m. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that button, please. Have a good week. Go shoot some cars. Peace.